Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use this uh, bear bash to uh, pick off the fiends, which will which it might have seemed like I got a lucky proc there um, on the bash. And now while that is somewhat true, the bash actually procs really often, um, and more likely than not, if you have your bear targeting a fiend, you'll get a bash off, and oftentimes be able to kill it. So I traded an archer for a fiend there, which is great because he wants his fiend late game, but I don't really need my archer's late game. Um, and so at this point, you know, like like I said, I have the brief army advantage, so I've used it to uh, uh, steal some of his creeps and kill a fiend. I feel like that was a, a good trade for me, and I know that his lich is coming out. At which point, I'm going to lose all my archers <laughs> um, to uh, lich DK and fiends, or lich DK and rods rather. And so I'm going to run home um, and continue to do a little bit more creeping while I keep my uh, scout whist on him to make sure that he doesn't expand or do anything tricky like that. So I feel like I have a. Uh, Accomplish a good amount there, and I'm going to leave before that lich totally screws me over. Um, in the meantime, the uh, my my end game plan is to have bears, and so if you're going uh, if you're going to quick bears, what you often want to do is you want to hit right at that point before he gets his lich out. Uh, do what damage you can, and then run away before the lich comes out, and you lose all your archers. Um, that's a, a nice way to uh, stall, put pressure on him, maybe kill a fiend or two. Um, while you uh, are quietly getting your bear tech so he's not in your base. Um, it's very possible against fiends to lose to a big tier 2 push before you get your bears out that involves like, you know, five fiends, a lich, and a statue. Um, so that little move right there uh, slows down his creeping a little bit, puts a little bit of pressure on him, um, and helps to ensure that that won't happen. So after you've done that, um, and you know, at this point I know that my bear tech is probably going to be safe, as he won't have a big enough army to win the game, um, I can go back to doing creeping of my own. I also know that I've stolen some of his creeps on his side of the map, so if we both creep at equal speeds, which is fairly possible, even though Undead creeps fast, um, the Beastmaster and Panda are very strong creeping heroes, um, then I will come out on top, because I will have stolen his creeps, and he will not have stolen mine. So these, these are my thoughts here, um, as I choose to go back to my side of the map and creep. I also wanted to clear that expansion spot for me, because I was thinking at this point that I was going to put an expansion down, down there, but I don't. Um, the reason I don't put an expansion down at this point is because while I did kill that fiend and, and seal a couple of his creeps, it's still very possible that he will show up right at that expansion. Um, a lot of undead fiends players will do that. They'll get you know a couple statues in their fiends, and they'll show up right to where they know you're expanding before you get your army out. Um, if they did that right now, I would... Ha I would um, I would my tech would be slower, you know, because of that expansion. I wouldn't, or at least I wouldn't have, uh, I wouldn't have any real bears, um, as I still don't have my bear tech right now. It would be even slower if I'd put that expansion up. Um, and if they hit me before I had real bears with you know fiends and statues and um, you know three two heroes or whatever, then I might have a hard time fighting it off. And then if I lost that fight and lost my expansion, I would probably lose the game. So instead, um, I've chosen to go up to fifty food and get my bear tech um, and make sure that I establish. Um, unit control, basically, that I can win a fight against his army before I try to expand. You know, basically, there are there are two ways to expand, in my opinion. There's um, you can expand, or there are two ways to expand correctly. I guess you can expand sneakily, <laughs> in that you can um, be putting an expansion up, um, knowing or thinking that he won't find it, um, and that you won't have to deal with him hitting it. Um, you can expand. Uh, I guess there are, th sorry, there are three ways to expand, sorry. You can expand distractingly, as it were. You can put an expansion up while you stay on him so he can't hit it. Even if you don't have a better army, you can uh, just use harassment to say, that he, to say that he won't hit your expansion. Or you can expand conservatively, which is to say that you know you can win a fight against his army. Um, so you expand, and even if he knows about it, he can't do anything to stop it. And you can, you can establish that with either an army advantage or with towers, as human players often do. So you'll see in my expansion spot, he did just show up with his army. Um, and if I had been expanding right there, I probably would have lost the game. So not expanding in that case uh, was a good move. So I'm going up to find his army. I want to see if I can fight him now, um, as I have uh, chosen to go up to a pretty nice-sized army here. Um, and in the meantime, I am now expanding, now that I feel like I can probably win a fight, um, as is evidenced by the fact that he's going to run home away from my army right now. Um, I feel like I can win a fight, so I'm now expanding um, at a non-standard expansion spot, which is often my choice. Um, while I feel like it would probably be safe to, sit, to expand at my spot, just in the event that things go badly here, he'll, he will run straight to my expansion spot. Um, again, yay for Bash. <laughs> um, this is a good reason to choose the Beastmaster. He still doesn't have Destroyers, so those bears are really nice. And even when he does have Destroyers, going, uh, going Beastmaster Summons forces him to get Destroyers, which are easily countered by Dryads. 
Um, so at this point, um, you'll notice I'm not really, I'm not really trying to creep or do do anything too aggressive here. I just wanted to stay on him a little bit. Um, I'm choosing to sort of do a combination between the conservative expansion and the harassment or uh, distracting expansion. That is, I'm staying on him, making sure he's not going to run to my expansion um, while I uh, while that expansion goes up. But at this point, um, since he crept that lower left hand spot, I'm thinking he probably won't run there. <laughs> not the uh, probably maybe not the smartest in the end, but but the smart thing about this is the expansion is almost up, and I know that if he does hit it, I will be able to TP to it. So, I just wanted to do um, a little bit of creeping there, and it turns out that the uh, the map is entirely crept. So now it's just a matter, or at least likely, given uh, the only thing I don't know about is his lab, and that's probably been crept. So, um, given that, um, all I ha all I need to do at this point with my expansion going up in my mind is make sure that I can uh, win a fight um, and keep him away from my expansion, and that's what that's what the game's going to come down to. So here. Um, you notice I run straight to the shop. Uh, my resource advantage is not quite coming into play just yet. I'm not building wisps at my expansion right away, just in case he does hit it, because I know I'll just have to detonate them. Instead, I'm choosing to use those resources on healing scrolls, because I know that this fight is critical. Um, if I win it, and I get to keep the expansion up, I will probably have a pretty good shot at winning the game. If I'm able to win the fight decisively, the game might just be over. But he does hit it, um, hit the expansion with everything he has, and so it's good. I, so not making the wisps there was probably a good decision. Um, and here... I need to try to fight and see what I can do. Um, so I get into a little bit of bad position here. I didn't think that he was going to be right at that position. I thought he was running further north, so my dryads are a little out of position. Um, and he wisely focuses my dryads, but I do get a nice breath of fire off on his army and start using my mono wands. Um, and he knows that he's about to lose a lot of units, so he goes ahead and TPs out. So I, I trade two dryads for a TP, which is slightly good for him, but I did achieve the goal of keeping him away from my expansion for this point. Pardon me while I take a quick drink of water. So again, the map is pretty much completely crept. There's very little use in me running around trying to do creeping at this point. Um, as long as I ensure that he doesn't expand, which I'm going to do with Beastmaster Hawk, if I can keep my expansion up, I will likely win the game. And so I'm uh, doing everything in my power to make sure this expansion stays up. You'll notice I just staff my uh, Beastmaster home to pick up some items. Um, one thing to bear in mind if you ever find yourself in this situation of just needing to uh, keep your expansion up to win versus undead is a way that they can beat you is to kill your heroes. It's uh, or to force you to TP home and to have and and to then by focusing your heroes and then to uh, to kill your expansion before you can get back to it to save it. And so, given that, it's very 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 important that you should protect your heroes. You have the resources from. Uh, from your expansion, and given that, uh, you should put a lot of that money, or at least a reasonable amount of that money, into stocking up um, stuff on your heroes. You know, so I have a staff on both my heroes, I have a potion on both my heroes, and I have a healing scroll. And given that, with uh, hopefully judicious use of rejuvenation, um, once the destroyers are gone, obviously, I hope to uh, keep my heroes alive. So, here comes another, in my mind, critical fight. I don't have a hawk yet to deal with the abominations, um, but he did leave a, a statue out in front, so I'm going to deal with that quickly, along with um, a misplaced abomination. You notice that I'm not trying to run through his army to try to kill the fiends here. Um, I'm just killing what's ever out in front. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because if I spend too much time running, then I'm going to lose all of my bears to his destroyers. Um, you'll also notice that I'm trying to, fo um, to focus any out-of-position destroyers with my ranged immediately.